Hello everyone, my name is Mr. Bullet on Fire 12 and welcome to some Call of Duty World of War. In today's video, I'm going to be discussing will old COD games be remastered in the future? World of War is the next game in line to be remastered. The first one that got remastered was COD 4, which came out this year alongside Infinite Warfare as Modern Warfare Remastered. And I think Raven Software has done a very good job with remastering COD 4. They've added in a lot more content than the original COD 4 had, However, they've done a superb job listening to our feedback. If there was anything that we didn't like in the game, they listened to our feedback and they changed it. They have changed so much things about Modern Warfare Remastered just based on our feedback. So I think Raven Software deserves a round of applause. I think they've done a fantastic job with remastering COD 4 because they want to make it the best it can be for us fans. Unfortunately, I'm yet to play it because one, I don't have a PS4, and two, I've said it before, I don't want to pay all that money for Infinite Warfare just to get Modern Warfare Remastered. Infinite Warfare is a game that I'm just not interested in. But anyway, we're not here to talk about that. We're here to talk about, will the other COD games be remastered in the future? People have discussed, is this going to be a new plan for Activision? Are they going to hire Raven Software to remaster all these old COD games? And World at War is the next one in line to be remastered, so will Raven Software remaster World at War for next year? I think there are reasons that, yeah, we will see a World at War remastered from Raven Software, and I think there's some reasons that maybe we won't see it. And we're going to go through all of the reasons that I've thought of and listed down here, and if there's anything that you think I've missed out, please feel free to write it down in the comment section below. But I think we will see Raven Software remastering World at War and all the other COD games that came out after it. I think the first reason is because the original game is very old now. It came back out in 2008. And if you think about it, World at War has got a lot more content than COD 4. It's got the campaign. It's got more multiplayer maps, I believe, than the original COD 4. And of course, it's got zombies. And if you think about it, we don't know if Raven Software is going to remaster the only DLC that COD 4 had, but if they do, then surely they're going to remaster all the DLC that World of War had if they do remaster World of War. And World of War had three DLCs, I believe, and that obviously includes all the new multiplayer maps that it included, and of course all the zombie maps. I mean, could you imagine playing on a remastered Shinonuma or Deriz, the Rooked, even the first original zombie map. I think that would be fantastic. And of course, we weren't expecting them to add in extra content to Modern Warfare Remastered. I mean, such as game-winning kill cams and extra challenges. I mean, they could probably do that with World at War Remastered as well. I mean... A little part of me is still not too keen on the idea, but I suppose COD has become such a bigger franchise now than what it was in the past. I suppose they probably needed to add it in more content. So I guess they could add in extra content like that into a World at War Remastered if they do that. I'm sure a lot of fans would love to see a World at War Remastered as it was the last World War II game. Here's a point that I just thought about before recording this commentary. COD 1, 2 and 3 are all World War 2 games, however, all of those games came out before COD 4, but they have not been remastered. COD 4 was the first game to be remastered. So, World at War could possibly be the first World War 2 Call of Duty game to be remastered. And I think that's a very good point, and that's something I didn't actually think about before. So those are some points that I've just thought about that could possibly happen for a World at War Remastered. But then there are some things I have thought about that Activision may reconsider. For example, it may not sell enough, as the Infinite Warfare sales are down by a lot. And that's even with Modern Warfare Remastered included, which might stop the idea. And if they were to make Modern Warfare Remastered a separate game, 
I can guarantee you that is going to have way more sales than Infinite Warfare. Next year, if we get a World at War Remastered alongside the new Call of Duty game that Sledgehammer is making, let's just say for example it is Advanced Warfare 2. I have no idea what Sledgehammer is actually making for the next year, but just imagine if it is Advanced Warfare 2 and we also get World at War Remastered included, I think we might see a similar pattern where the game is not going to sell enough because more people are protesting, they're not going to pay for Advanced Warfare 2 to get World of War Remastered. And if they want to get World of War Remastered, they would have to wait for it to be separate. And that's definitely going to increase the sales. If they were to separate the two games, more people would purchase a World of War Remastered over an Advanced Warfare 2. Which then also leads on to this next point, which is kind of the same thing. More people are going to be playing the remastered game over the new game that has just been developed. I think I touched based on this in my Who Is Playing Infinite Warfare video. I said that I've hardly seen anybody play Infinite Warfare. All I've been seeing on YouTube is Modern Warfare Remastered videos. I've seen a few Infinite Warfare videos, but I've seen way more Infinite Warfare videos during the Infinite Warfare beta than the game's full release. And again, that's pretty bad. So you can imagine, if they were to separate World at War Remastered from an Advanced Warfare 2, you would be seeing way more World at War Remastered videos on YouTube than the brand new game. We will have to see what Activision's plan is going to be with remastering these old COD games. Who knows what they're going to do? We'll just have to wait and see. I would hope that these games would get remastered because the old ones are sometimes very unplayable just with hacks and just not enough people playing when you actually want to play. And if you look at the new games they're making, they're just becoming so stupid. They're just not the games that the fans want to play. More people are playing Modern Warfare Remastered over Infinite Warfare. That's saying something. So, developers, make sure you're making the right COD game for the fans. Because right now, you're not doing that. And more people are playing a remastered game that originally came out back in 2007 over a game that has been developed over the last three years. But anyway, that's going to wrap up this video now. If there's anything you think I've missed, please feel free to leave it down in the comment section below. And I hope you have all enjoyed this video. If you have, remember to leave a like rating and subscribe if you are new. But for now, it is goodbye from me. I shall see all of you guys very soon with my next video. So take care guys. And goodbye.